Jim, I had a friend that was going for, um, he was presented with a job that he um, didn't expect would come down the pipeline, but it did. And he had to uh, interview for it. So we were talking about this and um, yeah, I said, are you ready for your interview? And you know, he said, yeah, I, I think I am. I go, uh, can you see yourself in this job? Can you see, what, I said, what do you mean? I go, act like you have the job already. Act like it's already yours. What, what would you act like? And he was like, he had to think about it for a second. He was like, okay, and he could kind of visualize that, right? So he's, he was being, he was acting as though he already had it. And what are some of the things that you say when you have this job? What are some of the things that you say to the people around you, you seeing yourself and being in this position, right? So, well, you know, these are some of the things that I would say because I'm in this kind of leadership role um, or I'm acting at a higher level than I was. So these might be some of the things that you have to say. Okay, so can you now see what it is like to be in this job, to be this person already? So the do part happens automatically, right? So you act as though you already are this thing. You do the things that are involved in this ultimate goal. The rest will take care of itself, right? So the be too, the, the have just presents itself because you're already laying the groundwork. But how many of us, Jim, and how many, because you know I, I didn't let the cat out of the bag as far as what your profession is, but I'm sure, I'm, I'm quite sure, I know <laughs> that you have a lot of people that come in feel like they're lacking something in their life because they're coming at it in such a way that I can't even see what it is that I want because I'm so stuck in my current rhythm repeating um, patterns that I can't even see what the, all I can do is dream about what I want to have. I can't even act like it. Yeah. Cause I, cause it's so, I feel like it's so far away from me that I can't even act like I'm doing it. And once, once you get them in the same, on the same page as far as, no, 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 this is what it is like to be this certain type of person or to be, let's, let's run through the elements, right? While we're closing this out, to be confident, to have knowledge, to be um, this outward shining bright light, right? To be this connector, right? To engage, right? To be this person that, all I need to do is you point, I'll get it done. All, all I need is the task. I got it to be the doer, right? The, the grand idea schemer, the knowledgeable, I know how to get this done. I know how to communicate to others on to get them on board and to create a compassionate, um, empathetic, energetic, progressive movement. And now uh, on top of that, I know how to get it done. You know, there's so many of those aspects of our life that I'm sure, Jim, you run into with your clients that are missing those things. And it's kind of your job to get them aligned. Would you agree? Oh, very much, very much. And that's a tough job. I mean, that, but I enjoy it. I enjoy, you know, so you got to be a clever teacher like you. <laughs> clever teacher mm -hmm. like you that invites this, that invites them, you know, along to embody this first a little bit. And then to speak this, uh, act it out a little bit. And then indeed, you know, like these uh, esoteric kind of pictures that are behind me. This one is all about what you were saying, Hardy. It's we be whatever we want. You can, you can be whatever you want. You really, what's getting in your way is you letting go of some of those inner limitations and letting them fall away. Sometimes you have to work at getting them away. Um, letting them go and 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 then we can be who we really are so that's the thing that gets in people's ways are all these limited beliefs limited ways of looking at themselves looking at their own lives looking at others hmm. limited and constricted and tightened down toward this is all i am and this is all i'm capable of and this and so good teacher you know like mr Merritt and mr bragg what you guys will do will in, invite people give the invitation and even coax and even sometimes trick, uh, trick someone into being somebody else. Mm. <laughs> and that's the statement that, uh, that this one is making right there. If we can, we can use these three, these three, 
uh, this discipline, physical endeavor, be to have, you can discipline, physical endeavor, concentrated intellectual exploration, and then focused intention. We can use that to bust those beliefs apart, to uh, bust those beliefs, to shed them, to shake them off, to wriggle out of them to where now we're at, we're in a new place. We're in a new place, new belief, new belief, yeah. bigger belief about myself and the world. How do you yeah, learn that, uh, more about those esoteric uh, things behind you? Oh yeah, those are, <laughs> I call them esoteric. Whoa, really Hardy, esoteric. Was, that, was that a question of invitation? <laughs> well, that's funny, you should have asked. Um, they're, the, these, are, uh, these are kind of, they're called esoteric. I use that word loosely. Um, they're es anything's esoteric until it's explained to us, um, until we right. know it and have experience with it. Then it's not so esoteric anymore. But um, yeah, there's a, we're doing a, uh, Mr. Griffin and I are doing a, a workshop, a four week workshop on this one right here, uh, this Taizokai, it's called Taizokai Mandala, but it's really kind of an exploration into yourself and who you are, who are you really, who are you really, if, if you could peel off or if you could shed or leapfrog in front of or get above, above, above and shed all that off, who are you really? Uh, what, what's really inside there? What's really inside my heart? So that's what yeah. we're going to be exploring there with that. So that yeah, I was, I was thinking of when you mentioned it earlier on, you know, tricking someone, you know, in a funny way of saying it, we trick someone in becoming someone different. And some may hear that and be like, well, I'm going to be a different, I'm going to be a different person than who I am. And it's like, it's yes, like, it's uh, not, really not tricking you. Yes. Yeah. I'm not tricking you into becoming someone different. I'm tricking you into becoming the new you. Right, who you really are. You've right. This. What if the dream, what if the dream part was everything you thought you were? That's the dream part, you know, yeah. that's, that's, no, that's not who you are. Here, wake up, wake up. And now here, here's what you are more. Yeah, so. okay, so um, Mr. Merritt, elegantly set you up to discuss what was going on with this other aspect, this other mandala that's over your left shoulder. So if someone wanted to find out more, because there are a couple of people as, on, on my feet, at least I'm seeing some people that are not involved per se, personally with the martial art that I teach uh, or with the mind sciences that we explore, how would they, let's use the Facebook route. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause everybody's on social media. How would they get in touch with either you or Mr. Griffin on how to get dialed into the uh, seminar series? Sure. So what they would do is they would go to the QMAR site. That's uh, Quest Martial Arts Raleigh. And they would uh, go on to that site, QMAR, Quest Martial Arts Raleigh. That's uh, uh, Brian Griffin. He runs that school and he's creating, he's uh, gracious enough to have that space and create that space for that. All of that information is on his uh, Facebook feed. Um, it's on mine. Uh, my, I put it publicly. So it's, uh, it would be uh, Jim McFarland, or you could even, um, you could probably, if you wanted to write me a note or whatever you could. Um, so L, L is in Larry dot James McFarland. L dot James McFarland at gmail.com and just write me know and I'll give you all the information. So, okay. So Brian, so quest Marshall, quest martial arts, Raleigh. Correct. Mm -hmm. And Q Brian Griffin. That's what you can find. Yeah. So we just put QMAR into, cause I'm mm -hmm. dialed into him directly. So I never have to go searching for things. I just press a button and he right. shows up in my bedroom. So, <laughs> yeah, right. And okay. So that's where we would go there. Sure. Um, to be able to get dialed in with that. So if there are folks, if you're, if you are tuned in or you're watching a replay of this, um, when do that, when does that seminar series kick off, Jim? Starts on July 11th and it will go consecutively every weekend. Um, and every, each weekend will be, uh, roughly about three to four hours. Um, so it's going to be some pretty good, pretty good stuff. And there'll be, uh, activities, there'll be different exercises. We'll be getting up and moving. We'll be talking a lot. Uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. People will enjoy awesome. it. And, uh, it's yeah, an and you know, I just, if I could interrupt for just a moment, cause I think he's about to go offline, but our dear friend, Mark Davis in Boston, you know, if Mark Davis is tuning in and paying attention to what's going on, 
it is important with a capital important. So, oh, Mark. Yeah. Good so to have Mr. you here, Davis. sir. Good Mr. to have Davis, you here. Thanks so, Thank much. you so much. Yeah, and I think Ken Savage is on as well. So that's always wonderful having Mr. him Savage, here. I can't wait. You, I cannot wait to cross paths with Ken Savage once again, because I think he and I have had very little interaction, but I love, I, I love what he does. And, and uh, Mark runs such a great program in, in Boston as well. Um, you know, there's just such a great community that we have between uh, Toshindo and our friends that study ninjutsu and those that follow the mind sciences and the philosophy, this Eastern philosophy that's tied into our martial art. It's such a great, great group of people that, you know, you just want to gather up all the people that are in your circle of influence. Be like, you know, you may not even know these people because you don't study martial arts and, you know, we see each other for a bike ride every now and again or what have you, but it'd be wonderful just to pull them in just so they can get an idea of, how these people share their lives, not so much martial arts, but just how they share their lives and the good that comes with it. Because we need such a great balance right now of great out, well, Samitsu, right? Great thinkers, great speakers, great doers that are constantly setting an example of what it is like to live in what we feel is absolute chaos right now and still be happy you can still be happy during all of this. And here's the thing, some part of your lives, it was really, really bad before. And it's really, really bad, you may be thinking now, and it'll get good. And guess what? It's gonna get really bad in a different way again sometime <laughs> down the road in the future. So you might as well have all of the tools that you could possibly gather at your disposal. So when this does come up, all you have to do is shift a little bit, shift your mental attitude a little bit, and none of these things can touch you. None of them can touch you. And when they do touch you, you're, you feel it, but you automatically know what it is. You don't get lost in it. it. It doesn't overwhelm you to where you don't feel like there's no other thing you can do, but, but anything that we might describe as negative, you know? Anything that we might describe as negative or, or harmful to yourself. You know, there's always a way through. And there are thousands of us out there, thousands of us out there that are waiting to be like, hey, I'm right here with you. You know, just push over this way a little bit or, you know, think about this just a little bit and it's okay. You know, it's all right. Everything's going to be okay. Man, Jim, it was so great. So great to have oh, you on gosh. and be able to share, privilege. be able to share like a what smidgen, a, I mean, a small smidgen of what you do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just a privilege, man. And it, isn't it, isn't it cool that we have this group of people that, I mean, uh, you know, to inspire hope and um, progress and more evolution and yeah. in the midst of all this chaos, in the midst of all this. So what a beautiful yeah. vision that you painted. Absolutely. So. You know, and Jim, I just, I just want to mention this as well, because again, this might be on a replay, okay? So I would like you to, if you would, um, for those that are watching, and, and I, I will admit, there have been times in the, in the, over the years that I've called you specifically because I had something going on in my life and I needed, I needed counseling. I needed somebody to help guide me through the way that I was looking at this certain perspective. And this is what you do for a living. You are a professional counselor. What would you, what would you say is your official title for yourself? And then maybe tell people again how can they get directly involved with you if they if they needed some guidance on something they needed some sure. help some counseling to get through a difficult moment in their lives oh absolutely so then so um i'm a licensed clinical social worker a uh, licensed clinical social worker or a clinical clinically licensed therapist or counselor so um and the way to best easiest way to get a hold of me probably there's a couple different ways but one way is jimmcfarlandtherapy.com and you can read my story if you read what I've been through, you can read some of those struggles and what led me to this. What made, and that's the secret part. That's not on that page, but you guys that everybody's listening knows what drove or some of what drove me. And at first I saw them as very painful circumstances that pulled me to this. Um, so I don't look at it as a painful thing. It was a beautiful thing, amazing thing that happened to me series of things uh fortuitous it was the gift it was the gift so jim mcfarland therapy.com and then the other way is to go on you can just go on psychology today and google uh google jim mcfarland uh mm -hmm. psychology today just put that into google and you'll get a little search engine that comes up put jim mcfarland 
up there, and then you'll see uh, you'll 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 see this face <laughs> um, <laughs> smiling and and so forth. So you're more than welcome, anybody. Yeah, and I'd be even willing to even just just chat with somebody just informally off the record. It would be private or whatever for even like a half hour, a half hour, just give my time and just, you know, and if I can't help you, I'll point you in the direction where that people that can, mm. that are able awesome. to, because uh, I have access to lots of different resources like that. So. Very cool. Fantastic. All Thanks right. so much, Jim. Any, any parting words here, Hardy, before we, uh, before we sign him off. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, if you follow the text feed, Kelly Cox posted the Facebook event link to Mr. McFarland's um, uh, workshop, so you can check that out directly. And then Brian's website is questraleigh.com. So I'm sure you can register through that as well. So if you're looking for the uh, links to the training, Facebook event that Kelly posted a link to or questraleigh.com. Um, short of that, though, Mr. McFarland, thank you so much. There's uh, there's so much of your time that I could take with the questions and wanting to hear your experiences with all this, but I so appreciate you taking the time to uh, to uh, to speak with us tonight. Is there anything else coming up with you or anything else that uh, that you want to let people know training-wise? Have you uh, done anything on the Kasumian Shugendo page? Or is there anything else out there with you? So we haven't come up with anything else after this particular uh, seminar, but then we thought about this this one on these uh, pictures behind me. But we've thought about it and we've tossed around the idea there may be some more, there's some more uh, things that people want to learn about some of these mind sciences and it has, these things have so much to offer, um, you know, our time right now. We have, it's confusing out there. It's, it's uh, fearful out there and so then this is a place of stability um and so we we're thinking about continuing to offer some different things and if people respond to them great um my hope is that whatever people need we can give that to them so that would be my hope and my sincere wish is that um we can give them the answers in whatever form way that they need they get those um so yeah well i, I so right. appreciate it uh, you know scott uh challenges us all the time to remember our training to utilize it there's a lot of us that are do that do this because of it's 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 a hobby it's something that we do for fun it's where we go see our friends but like this technology these techniques are designed to get us through stressful situations so take take full advantage of the uh the stuff that you've learned put them into practice activate your ninja powers because this is the only way we're going to get through this and stay the uh, inspiring community that we are. Uh, Mr. Scott, anything to wrap up with? I think we're good. Appreciate your time, Jim. Thank you so much. As Hardy said, we could talk about several things for hours. I'm sure we'll have another, um, you know, we'll have another The Show featuring Jim McFarland um, in, the, uh, in the not so far off future. So we appreciate your time now and uh, look, forward to, uh, look forward to the seminar coming up and look forward to further conversations with you. It's always a pleasure. Wonderful. Jim. I'm looking forward to it too, guys. And thanks so much. Thanks so much for having me. And so blessed, very blessed to have you guys in my life and just to have you as good friends and, and uh, you know, fellow travelers on this path. So um, just feel very, very honored, very honored and, and privileged. So humbled, very humbled. All right, Jim. Take care of yourself, sir. All right. Bye, guys. See you later, sir.